நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer, Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. The link of the original version that is the Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. Please check it out. This is astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. I am using this YouTube channel to answer the questions of many of my subscribers. If the questions asked are sensible and meaningful, I am definitely trying to answer or explain the astrological concepts regarding such questions. There is one such question asked by Dr. Sivakumar. The question is as follows. When Venus is combusted by Sun, it loses its strength will it get back the lost energy when sun is in parivartan yoga i felt this is a very different question and a unique one because the original dictum says the combusted planet will gain its lost energy when the combusted planet is in parivartan what is combustion Combustion is nothing but a state of the planet which approaches the sun very close. But why is this combustion said to be a loss of strength for a planet? Sun is a big source of luminous energy. When a planet approaches the big luminous body or let me say even a big dark energy planet, it loses its own strength i have written about these in my articles jyotiram ennum deva ragasiyam this is the point that everybody has to remember while making predictions jyotish itself is an art that deals with light energy when you are capable of understanding light energy and how it works you will definitely understand astrology in different dimensions and this helps greatly in making predictions all the planets receive light from the sun sun is the luminous planet that gives light to all the planets imagine you have a torch light which spreads good enough light Simultaneously you see a thousand watts bulb glowing in front of you. Will you be able to distinguish the light of this torch? It is not possible. There are two concepts such as combustion and eclipse that will make the planet lose its very natural strength. I have written briefly about it in my article Jyotiram ennum deva ragasiyam. that a planet will lose its natural strength when it approaches very closely the planet which is extremely luminous or which is extremely dark it is a challenging task to make predictions when a planet loses its strength this is the reason the original dictum insists that a planet should not be in conjunction with another planet and when the sun combusts a planet the sun will take the responsibility to deliver the effect of the combusted planet the reason is sun is the planet that combusts the other planet combustion is achieved by the conjunction of the sun and eclipse is achieved by conjunction of shadowy planet rahu or ketu Can you guess why I also bring the concept of eclipse here? Because during combustion where the sun combusts another planet, sun takes the responsibility to deliver the effects of the planet it combusts. In the similar fashion during eclipse, the planet which Rahu or Ketu eclipses, Rahu and Ketu takes the responsibility to deliver the planet it eclipses the original dictum says that the sun will take the responsibility 
to deliver the role of the planet that it cumbers and Rahu and Ketu will take the responsibility to deliver the effects of the planets they eclipse. When will the sun deliver the effects of the combusted planet? It will deliver the effects of the combusted planet during its major planetary period. That is major planetary period of sun. What if Venus gets combusted? And what effects will it deliver during its own dasha? Venus will not deliver good effects during its dasha. The next dasha that will happen is that of the sun and sun will definitely deliver the effects of Venus during its major planetary period which sums up to 6 years. The question of Dr. Sivakumar is when the planet gets combusted and if the combusted planet is in Parivartan, is it an antidote for the combustion? There is a hidden question in Dr. Sivakumar's doubt. The question he meant implicitly is that if sun which combusts another is in Parivartan, will it lose the ability to combust another planet? I know this is what exactly you want to ask dear doctor. The sun which is huge luminous body is able to combust another planet. And it lets another planet lose its significant light energy completely. As per astrology, if a planet is in Parivartan, it does not reside in the same house. So, the sun which combusts another planet itself is in Parivartan. It will exchange its position to another house and thus loses the ability to combust another planet. So the sun which changes its house will be able to still combust the planet that it conjuncts before Parivartan? This is the question of Dr. Sivakumar. The answer I will give is no. There are rules and exceptions as well. Though the original dictum says that a planet which is in Parivartan will do the house effects of the house to which it gets Parivartan. This cannot be applied to the combustion concept. A planet that is combusted is always combusted. For example, if Venus is combusted by the sun, it is a finalized idea that Venus is combusted. You have to check further whether it is Pabatva or Subatva. When Venus is exalted and gets combusted by the sun, Venus will deliver benefits to a certain limit because of its Thanabala. Once when Jyotish Acharya, my dear Guru, Bala Jodhida magazine editor C. Subramaniam was asked about the combustion of the exalted planet, he gave an example. It is like a lamp in a room that spreads a very minimal light in the pitch dark room. When a lamp spreads a very minimal light in the room, it is how an exalted planet which is also combusted will deliver its benefits. This is what my guru taught me and I am sharing it with you now. If the planet that gets combusted is in its inimical house, it is even worse. For example, imagine Venus is in the house of Scorpio, which is in its inimical house. It is already in a very bad state. In addition to this, if it is combusted, it means that Venus has completely lost its strength. Because when Venus resides in its inimical house, it loses its energy. In addition to this, if it is combusted by the sun, it loses its strength completely. If it has not gained strength by any other planet, such as Drigbala of any beneficial planet, and there is no Parivartan of Venus, it has lost 80% of its light energy. A planet that is in the enemy's house and also gets combusted, 
loses its energy completely. Imagine another situation when Venus is in Virgo where it gets debilitated status. In addition to this, if Venus is combusted here, it will lose its strength completely. It will not have any strength to deliver its karaka. Let me explain the third example. If Venus is in Pisces, where it gets exalted and also gets combusted, it can still deliver its karaka because it has got little strength. Let me share a few intricacies about the concept of combustion. When a planet approaches 9 degrees near the sun, it steps into the state of combustion in an increasing manner. At the midpoint of 0 to 9 degrees, when a planet approaches the sun, it loses its strength more than it is at 9 degrees of difference. When a planet is within 9 degrees of the sun, it starts losing its strength. Right from 9 degrees, it goes on losing its strength increasingly. At 0 degree difference between the sun and the planet, that is, when planet and the sun are at same degree, the planet totally loses its strength and gets combusted completely by the luminous body sun. This great light energy of the sun lets the light of the planet to be completely indistinct while combustion. The planet completely loses its ability to spread its light or to reflect its light on the earth. It will not be able to pass its light energy to the earth because almost all the light energy of the sun will swallow the light energy of the small planet. When the planet sun and the other planet are at zero degrees difference, that is, when they both are at same degree, the combusted planet will not be able to aspect the earth. The planet will totally lose its strength to aspect earth, whether it is Jupiter or Venus. Aspect of the planet of the combusted planet has no strength at all. When a planet that gets combusted within 2 degrees with the sun, then its aspect totally loses its strength. And when a planet is completely combusted, that is when the sun and the planet uh, that is combusted at 0 degrees difference, there is no aspect for the combusted planet at all. The more it goes away from the sun, it will regain the strength that it has lost. When it goes away like 2 degrees or 3 degrees away from the sun, then it comes to its natural state. Then when it moves away from the sun more than 9 degrees, the planet will have the strength to deliver its karaka. You have to also check whether the combusted planet is Pabatva and whether it has got Stanabala. You have to check whether the planet is exalted or if it is in Moltrikon status or own house status or an enemy house or a neutral house or debilitated. The Stanabala of the planet is also important. So it is very very important to check the Stanabala of the planet which was combusted by the sun whether it is debilitation or exaltation or own house status or Moltrikon status. The planet which was combusted by the sun will regain its strength if the combusted planet is in Parivartan. This is the rule mentioned in the original dictum. The planet which was combusted by the sun will not regain its strength when sun is in Parivartan. That is when sun is in Parivartan, it will not be an antidote for the combusted planet to regain its strength. Even when sun is in Parivartan, the planet which got combusted by the sun remains always combusted. So please don't bring the Parivartan of the sun as an antidote for the combusted planet. 
in order to make a prediction about the combustor planet you have to definitely check the sthana bala of the combustor planet if you want to gauge the strength of the planet you have to definitely check sthana bala dig bala that is directional strength and drig bala i have mentioned it recently in my videos about how to predict the chart or what are the steps you have to take in order to predict a chart dear beginners you have to definitely note whether the planet has lost its sthana bala or dig bala that is directional strength or whether it has any drig bala or not or whether the planet has got subatva or pabatva see also if the planet is eclipsed by rahu or ketu i can even add a question based on the question of dr sivakumar what will happen when sun itself has no strength and combusts another planet for example will this combustion happen when sun is in connection with rahu or got eclipsed by rahu while the sun itself got eclipsed will the combustion happen well i would like to mention here that combustion will not happen in this case for example on a particular day when the sun itself is eclipsed by rahu which cannot pass its complete light to the earth the planet that is in front of the sun such as venus or whatever planet will not get combusted this is also a subtlety of the astrological concept when sun itself gets eclipsed by the shadowy planet what will happen the sun will not be able to send its complete light on the earth in fact the sun does not lose its light energy at any moment it loses only its ability to send its light to the earth consequently the planet that travels in the path between the sun and the earth will have less combustion dosha during the time of eclipse sun will not have the complete strength to combust another planet this is the way you should check whether the planet has got strength or not when it was combusted and not by any other ways what will be the antidote for the combusted planet when the combusted planet is under the aspect of jupiter then it will be an antidote what is combustion the planet loses its strength its light energy in any situation when the combusted planet has connection with jupiter it will be an antidote you have to check whether jupiter has enough strength in the natal chart the aspect of jupiter on the combusted planet is such a great boon dear doctor when we can gauge the strength of the jupiter aspect on the combusted planet we can definitely make the finest predictions there are some confusions which are basic for the beginners we have to first of all check whether jupiter has the strength to aspect on the planet this is the basic confusion of the beginners i have published certain videos explaining the strength of light energy of the planets for waxing moon and waning moon and whether the planet has pabatva light energy or subatva light energy and we have to understand the concept of combustion what is combustion combustion is a state where a planet loses its own light energy imagine a situation where venus got combusted by the sun and venus receives the light of strong jupiter which is in fifth or ninth house from venus aspecting venus the strength of jupiter is very very important here and jupiter should not be also afflicted by any other planet it is important that jupiter has got strength to aspect another planet and let us imagine that jupiter aspects both sun and venus 
the combustion dosha will not work. This means that Venus has regained its light energy in another way. The Venus should not be aspected by Saturn or conjunct with Rahu. If Venus was both combusted by Sun and connected with Saturn or Rahu, it is like Venus was beaten by two people. Venus here is both combusted and Pabatva which is not good at all. If only you understand all these, you can identify the original strength of the planet or what are the effects the planet will deliver. This is such an important question and I have explained a lot about this. Indeed, I have explained more than what you expected and I hope you understand all these. There is one question from another subscriber, Radhika. The question is as follows. My humble pronouns to you, Guruji. The native is Aries ascendant. And Mars is in 6th house that is in Virgo. And Mercury resides in Scorpio which is 8th house to the ascendant. The Mars and Mercury are in Parivartan. Mars is in 6th house and Mercury is in 8th house from the Aries ascendant. And after Parivartan, both the planets are in their own houses. Waxing moon is residing in the Pisces and aspects the 6th house to the ascendant that is Virgo by its 7th aspect. That is waxing moon from Pisces aspects Mars which is in Virgo. Since Mars and Mercury are in Parivartan, can I assume that Mercury also receives the aspect of waxing moon. How to gauge what Mercury will deliver during its dasha? This is such an important question. Please never make this mistake, Radhika ma'am. In original dictums, it is said that when two planets are in Parivartan, the planet will deliver its house effects to which house it gets Parivartan during its major planetary period. So here there is no aspect on Mercury which got Parivartan. Even from my experience I will definitely say it's not true. When I explain a single concept you guys are advancing to the top of the ladder and you are asking so many questions. But it is good to ask questions like this. Whether the question is meaningless or whether it makes sense it doesn't matter at all. Questioning is always good. I would really appreciate all the questions that have been asked by my subscribers no matter whether it makes sense or not. Definitely I will give explanations when the question asked are different and useful to all the subscribers. This is the reason I explained all my concepts on the basis of light energy. Jyotish, what does it mean? It all deals with light energy. When I started explaining so many concepts through premium videos, I wondered whether these will reach the beginners or the astrologers. I was wondering whether my subscribers will benefit from my videos, whether the beginners of astrology will benefit from the explanation of the concepts of astrology that I give. I expect that at least a few people will benefit from the premium videos that I publish. But now I realize at least 5000 subscribers have downloaded my app and are watching premium videos. From this I can understand the reach of the explanation of astrological concepts given by me. It is something more than what I expected or I will definitely say it is far beyond what I expected. Well, let me come back to the point. For the native of Aries ascendant, Mars in 6th house and Mercury is in 8th house and they are in Parivartan. Parivartan itself means the planets are residing in their own houses. The question is that the waxing moon is aspecting from Pisces through its 7th aspect, the Virgo at the 6th house to the ascendant. The question is whether Mercury will receive the light since it is in Parivartan. 
whatever planet resides in pisces aspects virgo and mercury will not definitely get the light energy of the planet that resides in pisces the sixth bhava will receive the light energy of the waxing moon and not mercury whether it is waxing moon or any other planet that resides in pisces aspects sixth house and it also aspects mars which resides in sixth house the waxing moon will make mars subhatva by its seventh aspect and it will not make mercury subhatva by its seventh aspect definitely mercury will not receive the aspect of waxing moon though it goes to its own house where it gets parivartan so how should we gauge the strength of mercury please don't consider mercury as subhatva rather consider it as exalted as a result of parivartan the way you have to predict is mercury is exalted in the quadrant house to the moon in this situation i hope this must be your natal chart this is the reason you are learning astrology very well definitely this natal chart should be yours many people say that mercury is not in the quadrant house to the moon rather it is in trine or whatever position it is i will definitely always say to such people that implicitly or indirectly mercury will be in quadrant to the moon that is the reason they are learning astrology very well for this you have to check the natal chart keenly radhika ma'am this must be your natal chart as per your natal chart your native of pisces rashi and the moon is waxing in your chart and your native of aries ascendant and mars and mercury or in parivartan and by parivartan mercury gets exalted and not subhatva the planet mercury has not become subhatva please identify the difference between subhatva concept and exalted planet definitely mercury will not have the aspect of the exalted moon well there is one more question from our subscriber chitra the question is as follows when rahu or ketu becomes the star lord of the ascendant point or venus should we take the bhava position in the anti clock direction since rahu and ketu are retrograde planets that is since they are traveling in anti clockwise direction you have asked this question you are asking me if rahu or ketu becomes the star lord of the ascendant point or venus should we assume the 12th house to the ascendant as second house 11th house to the ascendant as third house etc you have also added that some astrologers insist on doing so you know why such a concept is spreading among the community of astrologers it is said in certain original dictum that when a planet is retrograde rather than doing the house effect where it resides it is said that it will try to deliver the house effect which is the preceding house for example when a planet is retrograde in the 12th house it is said that it will deliver the 11th house effects in certain explanatory books of the original dictums but this is not true this concept has spoiled or confused the minds of astrologers though rahu and ketu or the planets that travel in the anti clockwise direction you have to make the predictions of the house in the clockwise direction while all the planets revolve from left to right that is east to west venus rotates in the opposite direction this concept is present in both modern astrology and even our vedic astrologers have found this truth long back This is an astronomical fact and this was stated long back in our Vedic astrology. In any situation whether the ascendant lord resides in the star lord Rahu or Ketu or whether Venus resides in such a fashion the bhava is not calculated in the anti clockwise direction. Only you have to predict Rahu and Ketu goes in the anti clockwise direction 
which is called as retrograde motion. But not everything that is based on Raku and Ketu will become anti-clockwise. This is not true. Well, in my next video, I am going to explain a natal chart of a person who is a sophisticated criminal. The Tamil version of this video is available. Please check the description box and keep writing your feedback to astro.writeus at gmail.com. Thank you.